Right over the bed, right over the bed. Nigga, I gotta be safe. Let's get to the sports talk. Uh, Three in second grade, people. Oh, so man. First, I ain't rocking the baby yeah, and all that. Like, you get that. You, you, Russ is his mm. godfather, so that's what oh, he gets right. that from. If Russell Westbrook is your godfather, that would explain so much. Uh, his nickname is Stone? His name's Stone. How come? Because he's so big, but his grandfather gave him that name, so it just stuck with him, and it's kind of like... <laughs> He got, oh, yeah. he got game out there, though. Yeah, he got more game out there. Yeah, he's just a big man. Yeah, he, uh, Look at him strut around. Now, I asked you how right. tall he was, and you said he is in second grade, as tall as? My sixth grade. Oh, come on. Man, he is. He weighed like 102 pounds, but he's mobile. He actually played running back in football, too. Oh, man, that ain't fair what he's doing them little kids, <laughs> man. First time <laughs> grade. <laughs> Talk about Kyrie Irving. Practiced full five-on-five five today after being out two months with an injured right shoulder. Coach Kenny Atkinson saying he is, quote, progressing fantastically. Kyrie says he hopes to be playing in about a week. Chauncey, are you encouraged by this This is news? good news for everybody. I miss seeing Kyrie out there. I mean, I'm sure. It's good news, but you got to make sure how his shooting is. Like, is his, ro- is his rotation going to be different when he shoot the basketball? Is he going to be grimacing, holding his shoulder? Like, even though he said he'd be ready about a week, and he said he going to hold off surgery, he ain't going to do it, you still got to be concerned, though. Even though he said a week, though, you got to just pay close attention to it to make sure it's all the way 100. He said he'd be back in a week, but it's a shoulder injury, and he had to shoot the basketball. How the rotation of basketball going to be when he shoot it, you don't know it's going to spiral like that. You just got to wait and see. How it is once he once he step out on the court, you know he say he don't want to do surgery. This guy just play play coat attention to it. I just feel like he should just sit down, you know, wait for KD to come back next season and get himself hundred percent ready to go next season. Stay he just come back now. That is my opinion. The team misses them, but man, I. I need to. See, I need to see them highlights. Right. A lot of Hurry up back. I'm over what this close. injury was from all sides. Whatever um, it was, I know. He said one thing. Then he's feeling said better. That's good for all of us. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, no, we need. They, they need him out on the court, and obviously the fans in Brooklyn would like to see him out on the court. All right. Speaking of interactions on Twitter, I want to get to one of our favorite segments Uh-oh. we have for Perk. <laughs> it is retweet or delete. We give you Perk's recent tweets. You can stand by it or disagree. Chance, if you want, you can chime in with whether you think he should retweet or delete. First one, after Trey Young's 40-point triple dunkle, Perk wrote, I'm going to say this one more time, Steph Curry wasn't doing the things that Trey Young is doing in his year, too. So, would you retweet or delete Perk? I'm retweeting this. Ooh, and Charles backing I'm you up. You, yeah, I'm, I'm retweeting this one. I'm telling you, man, Trey Young is a generational talent. This guy is really special. Yes, he is. I agree 100%. I mean, obviously we know how special Steph is. Because mm-hmm. there's a lot of teams that didn't believe in Trey Young coming out of college. But I, I said this when coming out of Oklahoma, that his game will transition very well in this league because this era is made for the three-point specialists. And he fit very well in this era. Everyone ain't believing him coming out of college until now he's shown him and he's going to be an all-star this year for Atlanta. And everyone, it's to show you, everyone didn't really truly believe in what he could do. And now he's and now he's becoming an all-star. It makes you eat all your words. But in his second season, mm-hmm. Trey is doing a little more than Steph was doing at that time. Now, who knows if he'll make it to the level of Steph right. and be the champion. Who, who knows any of that stuff? But what we know right now... In this small sample size, <laughs> that boy's the real deal. And, and the reason that I compare him to Steph is because he's been compared to Steph. So well, he since, since, model a lot of right, the game right. Steph, so, right. So like, even last year when he had his downs, people was killing him. Oh, he's not Steph Curry, and right. it took him time. But the thing that separates him, in my opinion, is those dimes. He, he's, the way he's able to score, we knew this, but I didn't know he his court vision was oh, like the way it is. Mm-hmm. 
It's like, I actually pay my hard-earned money to go watch him play. Well, look, yes. I mean, the thing that's <laughs> notable, I mean, so many things are notable about Steph Curry, but one thing that is notable is that he does this early, and then, you know, his yeah, career yeah. trajectory shot up, got the ankle inj injuries under control, all of that stuff. Yeah. It's why Golden State had him on that sweeter contract that allowed them to add in some of the other pieces they eventually did. So, Trey over him right now in some of these respects, but we'll have to see if he also, maybe he's going to take a shoot up too. We'll find out. Uh -oh. Kirk's next tweet. The Sixers offense, really bad, he says. Easy to guard. So predictable. This is now two all-stars that have complained and had a problem. The Sixers offense, it is time to address the elephant in the room. And that elephant is Brett Brown, Kendrick Perkins. Retweet or delete? I'm retweeting again because, I mean, at some point, when is he going to be held accountable? You put all these pieces around him. You're in the front office with Elton Brand making these decisions, building your team. You you know what trades are going on this summer. So it's your job as a coach to put these guys in position to be successful. You're supposed to yes. know their strengths and weaknesses. What do you got? Ooh. <laughs> I am going to. It's up to them, too. As an organization and as him a head coach, I don't need to put three-point shooters around Ben Simmons because you know he's not going to really take no jump shots like that. And his game is dishing the basketball off. And he needs three-point shooters around him. That's what his game based off of. Facilitating, controlling the tempo of the game, him being a floor general. His game is not to score so much. But he, he will score by like 20, 30 points if he wanted to go into the basket. But his game is precise on the three-point shooters you have around him. Only three-point shooters he really have around him as much is Tobias Harris and Al Horford and Embiid. You have to surround a guy game like that. That's how his game is. He break down the defense and look and see what the three-point shooters at and pass it off. Who second that? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, I just believe that Ooh, I feel as good, a coach, man. Chun's backing me up today. As a coach, hey, 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 that's serious right there. As a coach, Ooh. your responsibility is whatever pieces they give you. Yeah. He's blessed to have the pieces that he has, yeah. by the way. Yeah. You got some generational pieces there. Yep. Your responsibility is to make these pieces work. And, um, you know, personalities, all those things, you got to hold these guys accountable. You got to be demanding. You have to be relentless. And... I'm not sure that's what's going on, so I'm, I'm riding with Big Perk. Wow. Wow. <laughs> riding. All right, we'll see if you hang on for the last tweet, though, because oh. here is his perk on Lonzo Ball. One thing about me is I'm not scared to admit when I am wrong, and my apologies to Lonzo Ball because I made it my duty to watch this Jazz at Pelicans game tonight. I've been watching him very closely. He is a special talent damn sure and he is falling all right retweet or delete i'm retweeting and i it's apologize basically so. deleting an old opinion to yeah, retweet this because one. i called him a bus and but then in my defense he i mean we had what to, happened we was? had to give we had to criticize him ava gentry had to put him on the bench for him to for him now to come out and start producing mm -hmm. so i'm retweeting this because i'm a man and i'm on up to it my bad lonzo you balling out you doing your thing handle your business I, I listen. I agree. Uh oh. Uh oh. There you go. We, hey, we, I'm three for three today. We, we are three for three. I appreciate <laughs> him being able to come on here and say, you know what? I raised my hand. That's yep. my bad, yep. young fella. You've been balling. Yep. I think Lonzo Ball is going to be a very good player in this league. He is going to be a very good player because his game, just like Ben Simmons, is like he can shoot okay, but he's not a good shooter. Him and Ben Simmons, they hesitate when they try to shoot the basketball. But Ben Simmons don't want to look to shoot the basketball. Lonzo, he got to New Orleans, and he's willing to shoot the basketball. The more he did in L.A., I feel like when he was in L.A., he had so much pressure on him. So when he do, he hesitate and look the pass. He the same way as Ben Simmons. He's a floor general. He controlled the game. He looked and passed it off. To another player up the floor. That's his game. But Ever Jr. had to sit him down for him to start attacking the rim and taking more shots. Instead of him just looking to pass. For a long time. Is he a generational talent? Is he a perennial all-star? Yet to be seen, I'm not sure. 
But I think he's going to be a positive winning player. Uh, my my, my day is all, all good today. Right before we go, Chris Rock Rock for Zegans recently oh. had a platelet-rich plasma <laughs> injection. We will see how he goes with that. He is still sidelined, has been out since New Year's Eve. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the best stuff in the safe. Got me a spot out the way.